right, away we go. For the rerun of race 20. And the big two, one, two, as they go past us. Tatum Lee gone in second place with Tate and then Phil the bottom turn again. Well, we got a yellow flag and uh, what have we got? We got a red flag. So the red flags are out. And once again, unfortunately, the race is stopped with a spill on the first corner. Obviously, he's going to be excluded from the rerun, so um, we'll end up with a, a very depleted field in the second rerun of race 20. Well, there's a lot of stake today. We said this morning that uh, this meeting with so many top names, both in the sidecars and in the solos, and only 10 going through the Masters from the solos and six from the sidecars. There was a lot to be uh, won and lost today. We expected competitive racing. Unfortunately, when you've got competitive racing, uh, there are bound to be one or two spills. Everybody's going for it. And uh, I believe that uh, Backlog Werner, I haven't got the news whether he's excluded or whether he's going in the uh, rerun. We'll check with the clerk of the course on that one. By confirmation from the clerk of the course that Backlog Werner was the cause of the stoppage and he's been excluded from the rerun. So, a rerun of race 20. Again, the run down on the uh, lineup is Mark Allen, Simon Giddings, Phil Morris, Kelvin Tatum, Chris Trenton, Roy Sizemore, Dean Garden. So we're looking for Tatum and Garden. Tatum number 29, Garden number 4, and away they go. And Garden gets left! And it's Tatum who goes to front with Roy Sizemore, Dean Garden in the green of white, wide right on the back, so Garden's got it all Really making no impression on the leaders, but having said that, he's back in sixth place. But it is Tatum absolutely rocketing away from the rest of the pack. Tatum leads. And oh, problem swarmed. Roy Sizemore, Roy Sizemore there. Nearly runs away there. Roy Sizemore and Tatum leading. Tatum leading out of the race as we look to our left. It's Tatum at half distance leading by the proverbial mile. And Garden up in the fourth place, so Tatum leads in second place. We have number 13, Chris Trent, behind Chris Trent, Simon Giddings. Then Dean Garden, and Dean Garden trying to go through up inside Giddings. And Garden really, showing two rides, back in fourth place. The big win the last lap, Tatum really rocketed away. Super stuff this, Tatum then leads. By the four lengths of the start, finish straight. Rock. By nearly half a lap from the rest of them, in second place it's going to be the man from Kent, Chris Trenton. In third place, Simon Giddens, and in fourth place, Dean Garden. Coming home in fifth place, number 38 there, it's Phil Morris. And behind Phil Morris is Mark Allen. Over the page to race 21, back with a thousand chairs. Everybody's had uh, three rides in the solos now. Chairs have had two rides. Line up for race 21. Number nine, John Hunt. Number 11, Chris Terrell. Number three, John Hiscock. Number 21, John Halsey. Number two, Alan Blewett. And number 23, Colin Hicks. Well, Alan Blewett, uh, in the twilight of his career, if that's the correct term to use, really having uh, super season so far this year, going like a train today, blew it with uh, son John in the chair and already being tipped by one or two in the know as uh, a possible uh, front runner for the British Masters itself. I think going back to 1984 when Alan won it, I'm sure he came through the qualifiers in that year. I seem to remember him riding at a point of air qualifier. 
it was nine years ago, Blue, he came through the qualifiers and he went through to win the uh, British Masters, the last round on that day being organised up in the North East. Somebody will tell me where it was. I know I was there when Tony Noel did the presentation and the mic backed up. North Allen, yeah. I can remember the field. I can remember Jeremy Doncaster that day being absolutely superb. Long time ago, 1984. So, uh, in those days, Alan was only about 40, 41. A little bit older now. But still super competitive. Solos after three rides, just one on the maximum. Kelvin Tatum. Kelvin Tatum on 36, Andy Sell on 34, Robbie Fuller on 32, Paul Bentley on 32, Dean Garten on 31, and Graham Jones on 31. That's the leading half dozen in the solos. And um, we're now back with the chairs. Race 21. John Hunt. Colin Terrell. Terrell, Chris Terrell, get me facts right, John Hiscott, John Halsey, Alan Blue, and Colin X. <laughs> Race 21. Who's going to win it? Is it going to be Alan Blue? Who's it going to be? for the first time indeed as they got the back straight the order still the same with Alan and John Blewett really pulling out a substantial lead now the second place to getting challenged by John Hiscock the third and turning it is on the inside John Hiscock on the outside and uh, Jenner in fifth place Hall in sixth up the back straight, so uh, Tyrrell's still coming under pressure for that third spot, but he's still holding. from John Halsey there in second. Tyrrell still in third, he's got in fourth. And in sixth place, Chris Hall and Steve Kensington. John Halsey in third place, Chris Tyrrell. In fourth place, John Hiscock. In third place, Colin Hicks. I think I called Colin Hicks Richard Jenner earlier on. My apologies to him. And in sixth place, Chris Hall and Steve Kensington. Point one nine. One minute twenty six point one nine. That is correct. Told by Tim, that's two seconds faster than Alan Blewett's previous fastest time, 126.19. Right, the result of race 21, a win for number two, Alan and John Blewett. In second place, number 21, John Halsey and Tony Miles. In third place, number 11, Chris Terrell and Alan Borlase. In fourth place, number three, John Hiscock and Dave French. In fifth place, number 23, Colin Hicks and Eden Fiddick. And in sixth place, number 96, Chris Hall and Steve Kensington. 2, 21, 11, 3, 23, and 96, the result of race 21. We move on to race 22. We have number 14, Richard Thomas and John Richards. Number 15, Phil Pittman and Gary Lane. Number 7, Dave Steer and Andy Orchard. Number 19, Rory McGuigan and Alan Berry. Number 6, Mick Cave, Mick Stace. And the addition to your program, number 20, Shane Baker and Clint Martin. That's the lineup for race 22. So looking down the points, uh, a top runner in this one on points after two rides is uh, Phil Pittman. Phil Pittman on, uh, on 11 points after two rides. So Phil Pittman and Gary Lane, the Cornwall crew from Paul on the FZR Wasp on 11 points, but they're going to come under pressure in this one, particularly I think from uh, Shane Baker and Clinton Martin on the Yamaha.
Rod Winterburn and the Winterburn just going a little bit wide. The right's come through on the inside, up into third, but they left it too late. There's no way they're going to get on terms with the leading two. Checkered flag is ready. The Winterburn brothers, and in fifth place was um, Rob Wilson. Well, that was a turn up for the book. With all respect to Ian and Rick, you'd have got ten to one on them for winning that one, but uh, they'll be pleased with that. They haven't had the best of luck over the years, and uh, good win there for Ian and Rick McCauley. Their time, one minute, 29.85, one minute, 29.85. Race 23, the official is up, then a win for number 5, Ian and Rick McCauley. In second place, number 18, Terry Phillips and Chris Spears. In third place, number 12, Gary and Steve Wright. In fourth place, number 10, Rob and Chris Winterburn. In fifth place, number 17, Rob Wilson. And in sixth place, number 25, Richard Jenner and Mike Walters. 5, 18, 12, 10, 17 and 25. We move on to race 24. The lineup in race 24. Pete Dyer, number 13. Pete Dyer and Tony B. Mister. In grid 1. Grid 2, Steve Smith and Keith Wall. In grid 3, Tim Bennett and Peter Bassett. In grid 4, number 24, Kevin Stevens and Miles Simmons. In grid 5, number 16, Colin Hutton and Tony Baseby. And in grid 6, Andy Norrish, number 22, and Eddie Alves. Well, just looking uh, down the list, we see um, Pete Dyer having a super afternoon. Two rides, two wins. He's in this one. Is he going to win it? Well, Steve Smith may have something to say about that. Race 24, Pete Dyer on the maximum, Steve Smith on 12, they're the big two. Well, we looked at five outfits, so uh, we're one missing. I can see Andy Norrish, I can see Steve Smith, I can see uh, Keith Wall. Keith Wall is always the one on his hands and knees digging out the groove. <laughs> I'm told he doesn't like gardening either, so... Um, I can remember some incident many, many years ago by a man who's here today. My old mate Tom Ledbitter, and something to do with some sand. It's a long story and I won't attempt to tell it. Right, if you want to hear a story about sand on the start, I see Tom Ledbitter. Right, away we go. Steve Smith, distinctly back in third place at the moment. Tony Beamster yet again, second place at the moment. Colin Hutton and Tony Baseby, Hutton in second, Smith in third. That's the one, two, three, Dave Norris back in fourth, and Smithy gets the drive out the bottom turn, and Hutton in trouble. And uh, Colin Hutton, really a super first lap, but uh, problems, and uh, he goes out to run the Smithy, Dyer, the old school, one, two, now, three leads from Steve Smith in second. In third place, number one, Tim Bennett, and Dyer against Smith, this could have been the commentary 5, 10, 15 years ago, Smithy tries to go on the outside, but Pete Dyer holds him off, Dyer leads, Smithy second, Steve drops back, he's going to make the effort coming out of the turn, and he's going to try and lock it up, come on the inside, which he does, but he's still Dyer holding it, it's for the last lap, Dyer from Smith. And, uh, Tim Bennett not out of it yet, Tim Bennett and Peter Bassett still in the fight as they go in the last turn, he's still anybody's race, Pete Dyer leads, Steve Smith and, and Eddie trying to come down on the outside, but Dyer's going to get there, Pete Dyer gets there, Steve Smith second and Tim Bennett third. Oh, that was a good race, I enjoyed that one even though Smithy didn't win, so uh, a win there for Pete Dyer, and all credit to Pete Dyer, one of the uh, one of the stylish drivers in the game. I always think of Pete as being uh, in the mould of uh, Steve Smith and Alan Blewett. A good win, third win of the afternoon, 1 minute 30.03, Pete Dyer, Tony Beamister. Super afternoon for Pete Dyer, really is. 
Race 24, a win for number 13, Pete Dyer, Tony Beamister. In second place, number 4, Steve Smith and Keith Wall. In third place, number 1, Tim Bennett and Peter Bassett. And in fourth place, number 22, Andy Norrish and Eddie Elvis. Those numbers again, 13, 4, 1 and 22. We move on to the last series of uh, heats before the interval. Well, the racing was going very, very quickly for the first hour. Then we had a couple of spills, unfortunately, which means that uh, it's uh, slowed up a little bit. But um, right, I've got a little note here. I've got to read it first. Right, little note here. It says, please say happy question, question birthday to my wife Lynn, wherever we left from Hobby Steve and daughters Kelly and Daniel. And say Omer and Cradley. That'll go down well with the Wolves fans. So, happy birthday to uh, wife Lynn Wheeler from Hobby Steve and daughters Kelly and Daniel. Danielle. Cradley fans. As we move on to race number 25. Race 25, the lineup at number 12, Kevin Buck. Number 14, Paul Fudge. We've got Ian Wilson in there, Sandy Sell, Neville Tatum, Steve Woodall, Dave Steen. It's, is it Sell we're looking for? Is it Jones? Well, it's Jones. This is going to be a cracker with Jones and Sell and Jones. Down the back straight. Graham Jones pulling away just a little bit, but as they go in the bottom turn, Andy Sell. Andy Sell trying to go round the outside, but it's Graham Jones from Andy Sell, and here comes Stuart but it's Graham Jones leading by about 30 metres as they go in the bottom turn. Half distance, Graham Jones it is. Sell in second place. In third place. Still number 19, Stuart Woodall and behind Stuart Woodall. Neville Tatum and behind Neville Tatum in safety. Graham Jones it is. By some. 40, 50 metres, rolled in the Masters first round last year, did Graham, he didn't ride in the second through injury, so uh, he's uh, automatically qualified for this year's event, but uh, well, I think he's going to make his presence uh, known in the Masters. He's been at his last for quite some time, establishing his speedway career, but he's always loved the glass, and uh, he's back. Graham Jones wins in second place, number 30, Andy Sell. In third place, Stuart Woodall. In fourth place, Dave Steen. And in fifth place, Neville Tatum. That's how I see it. Confirmation in just a moment. The time, meanwhile, for race 25. Graham Jones is winning time. As uh, Kevin Buck cruises over the line, about eighth place. 1 minute 29.25. 1 minute 29. Point two five, and the official result: race twenty-five, a win for number six, Graham Jones. In second place, number thirty, Andy Sell. In third place, number nineteen, Stuart Woodall. In fourth place, number ten, Dave Steen. In fifth place, number thirty-nine, Neville Tatum. In sixth place, number fourteen, Paul Fudge. In seventh place, number eighteen, Ian Wilson. In eighth place, number twelve, Kevin Buck. Six. 30, 19, 10, 39, 14, 18, and 12. We move on to race 26. The lineup in race 26. Number 16, Vaclav Werner. Number 17, Darren Matthews. Number 11, Mark Chessel. Number 27, Adrian Stevens. Number 35, Ben Howe. Number 34, Sean Tacey. Number 9, John Sims. Number 21, Dave Wright. And number 25, Trevor Eden. Right, sidecar update after three rides. Three rides in the chairs. We've got Alan Blewett on a maximum 21. We've got uh, Pete Dyer on a maximum 21. We've got Steve Smith on 19. We've got Phil Pittman on 16. 
On 15, we've got John Hiscock. On 14, the Wright brothers. And on 14, John Halsey. Remember, six to qualify in the chairs. Ten to qualify in the solos. Be a short interval after race 32, and I'm told it will be a short interval due to Speedway at uh, Mamba Green tonight. Well, Ben Howley. Line there for the uh, man from Truro, Darren Matthews, uh, nearly put it over his head, but luckily he got away with it. He's still in the race. But as we look to our left, we see Ben House still leading from his second place Marshall. And yeah, uh, he's got all to do if he's going to qualify for the Masters. He really has. Half distance then, still Ben Howe leading from the close scrum between Bernard and Bernard Bernard and Bernard goes for in the second place, Jeffrey goes back to the third, so it is Howe leading as they go into the last lap. Ben Howe leads by about 60 or 70 metres from Bernard and Chessel goes out. And, uh, well, it looks very much good, he's got a plan. He's uh, coming to the back end anyway. And then uh, Chester goes out from last three. One clock right on down. Chester played at the rally on the first one of the afternoon for the man from Ipswich, Ben Howe, number 35. He wins in second place. Backlog Werner, number 16. Very close to third. In third place, just in front of Darren Matthews in fourth with John Sims, number nine. Darren Matthews behind him and behind him with Sean Tacey. No doubt about the winner. The first one he's had this afternoon, Ben Howe, number 35. The time for race 26, time of 1 minute 30.88. 1 minute 30.88. And the confirmation of that result, race 26, a win for number 35, Ben Hell. In second place, number 16, Vaclav Werner. In third place, number 9, John Sims. In fourth place, number 17, Darren Matthews. Fifth place, number 34, Sean Tacey. In sixth place, number 25, Trevor Eden. And in seventh place, number 21, Dave Wright. Those numbers again, race 26, 35, 16, 9, 17, 34, 25, and 21. We move on to race 27, still with the solos. The lineup is number 7, Kevin Teagan. Number 31, Jason Handley. Number 33, Barry Simpson. Number 23, Robbie Fuller. Number 28, Paul Bentley. Number 1, Phil Ashcroft. Hopefully he's okay after his spill. Number 15, John Priest. Number 13, Chris Tripp. Number four, Dean Gordon, and number 38, Phil Morris. Well, we just had a correction on the sidecar points after three rides. Alan Bloom is on 21, Pete Downs on 21, Steve Smith actually on 17, not on 19, as we said. So, uh, just a correction there, which at the end of the day might be very, very important. Race 27. Dean Gordon. Going very well this afternoon, two wins, but uh, last time out not quite as quick. Robbie Fuller in this one. Paul Bentley. So, who's it going to be? Oh, John Priest. Nice to see a local lad win. Phil Ashcroft is... Uh, we're looking for Phil, but we don't have Phil Ashcroft, so we get away cleanly. And uh, Robbie Fuller was up with the leaders. He's in about sixth place and into the bottom corner. It all looks very hectic. Very, very close on that paddock turn on the first lap. And out of it comes Gorm. Gorm in from second place behind him is Robbie Fuller. Yeah, Robbie Fuller. 
In fifth place, number two, Rick Sanford. And in sixth place, number 22, Mark Allen. 29, 3, 24, 5, 2, and 22. That's the result of race 28. That completes the solo heats. We've got the solo semi-finals, the solo final. Remember to qualify for the Masters. It's the points scored in the heats, plus the points scored in the semi-finals. At the end of the semis, the top 10 solos and the top six chairs go through to the Masters finals. And the finals today are run for the prize money. We move on then to race 29 should be straightforward because they all go as shown in the program or they should do namely number 12 gary and steve wright at the moment they um, are hovering around the uh, six spot that vital six spot for the masters be good to see the wright brothers in the masters but uh, at the moment it's a bit uh, iffy for them they've got it all to do we've got the winterburn brothers rod and chris we've got number 19 rory mcguigan number 14 is uh, Richard Thomas, number 18, Terry Phillips, and number 6, Mike Cave, Mike Cave. So, looking down that, a win here would do right to the world of good. Terry Phillips, uh, just out of the top six at the moment, but uh, what a super rider he had uh, last time out. Finishing uh, second behind Ian McCauley. So, race 29. Who's it going to be? Gary and Steve Wright, the Derby crew on the go for Kawasaki, all the Winterburn brothers from Cole on the Yamaha FZR, or Terry Phillips, and uh, Chris Spires riding the Magnum. As usual with sign car racing, another interesting one in prospect. I was saying about uh, Terry Phillips, just outside the top six at the moment, got it all to do, he's on 12 points, but the Wright brothers on 14 of them. Dead even start, and this is going to be cracker into the first turn. It's going to be a case of who's going to bottle out right. First turn action. Phillips. Phillips leading with on the outside, Richard Thomas for the single round up bottom turn. It is Terry Phillips and Thomas on the outside, the Wright brothers on the inside and Gary and Steve now getting it all together and they're after Terry Phillips, so Phillips leads right in second. In third place is Thomas. Terry Phillips leading the the Wright brothers on the inside. And here comes Gary and Steve and Terry Phillips. Absolutely a bit of ride in there by Terry Phillips. Just put it into the turn right on the inside and close the game but Wrights get through. The Wright brothers go through, and Phillips relegated back to third, Thomas in second, but Gary and Steve lead as they come around the top turn. And Richard Thomas and John Richards, the Cornwall Junior Champions last year. They're up in the second place and they're having the best ride of the afternoon so far, but it's the ride from East Midland Centre. And, uh, well, disaster there for Mick Cave and Mick Stace. There's a motor from the table and the wheel to our right. Thomas is not leading yet. Brothers get there. Thomas second, Phillips third. In fourth place was uh, was uh, who was fourth? Laurie McGregor down behind them with the winter there. So the best ride of the afternoon for Richard Thomas and John Richards, the Helston crew, Cornish Junior Champions last year. We're going to see more of them. But race number 29 goes to Gary and Steve Wright in a time of 1 minute 29.27. 1 minute 29.27. The official result of race 29, a win for number 12, Gary and Steve Wright. In second place, number 14, Richard Thomas and John Richards. In third place, number 18, Terry Phillips and Chris Spires. In fourth place, number 19, Rory McGuigan and Alan Berry. In fifth place, number 10, Rod and Chris Winterburn. And in sixth place, number six, Mick Cave and Mick Stacey. Those numbers again, 12, 14, 18, 19, 10 and 6. We move on to race number 30. 
A lineup in race 30, Coin Cotton and Tony Baseby, number 16, number 11, Chris Terrell and Alan Borlace, number 21, John Halsey and Tony Miles, number 17, Rob Wilson, number 20, Shane Baker and Clinton Martin, and number 9, John Hunt and Lynn Green. Of these, look at the top point scorers. We see, um, at the moment, none of them in the top uh, six. Oh, John Halsey is. I thought John Halsey must be there somewhere. John on 14 points after two rides, dying for sixth place. And uh, with the Wright brothers having just had a win, they were on 14. John Halsey really with it all to do in race 30. John Hiscock and Dave French on the Renegade on 15 points after three rides. Pittman on 16 points after three rides. And Pete Dyer on 21 points, a maximum score after three rides. So Pete Dyer's the man they've got to beat. Dyer and uh, passenger Tony B. Mister. Number 13, Pete Dyer, one 
once again. Out in front, but he's coming under pressure from Phil Pittman as they go around that bottom turn. And uh, not a lot in it, but Dyer's got the advantage and off the back straight, Pete Dyer. Charlie Beam is to pull out about 20 metres on second place crew. Number 15, Phil Pittman and Gary Lane. John Hiscock and those three are the ones that need the points and Hiscock goes into second place goes round the outside of Phil Pittman so Hiscock is in second now Pittman in third but Pete Dyer what a super afternoon he's having three runs three wins so far and he's out for another one with Hiscock in second place Pittman in third place and in fourth place number one Tim Bennett and behind Tim Bennett was um, John Hiscock. Good for the fourth time this afternoon. Pete Dyer and Tony Beaverston take the checkered flag very, very close to second place there between Phil Pittman, who <laughs> goes into the middle but no harm done, and John Hiscock. We'll leave that up to lap scores, but a win. No doubt about it, for number 13, Pete Dyer and Tony Beamister. Their time, 1 minute 31.78, 1 minute 31.78, number 13. Pete Dyer and Tony Beamister. In second place, number 15, Phil Pittman and Gary Lane. In third place, number 3, John Hiscock and Dave French. In fourth place, number 5, Ian McCauley and Rick McCauley. And in fifth place, number one, Tim Bennett and Peter Bassett. We move on to the last race before the interval. Race number 32. In this, we've got number seven, Dave Steer and Andy Orchard. Number four, Steve Smith and Keith Wall. Number 24, Kevin Stevens and Miles Simmons. Number eight, Ken Hicks and John Peters, who are going to be non-starters. Number 22, Andy Norris and Eddie Alvis. And number two, Alan Blewett and John Blewett. So, an interesting one because you don't need me to tell you, you've got the old adversaries, Alan Blewett and Steve Smith. How many times have Alan Blewett and Steve Smith raced against each other since they started racing X number of years ago? That's a good quiz question, that is. If anybody can tell me the answer, I'll give a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> so, two of the great names in that uh, British sidecar racing over the past 20 years in this one both of them ex-masters champions last time alan won it was 1984 last time steve won it 1990 both of them fighting it out for a place in the 1993 masters series so dave steer steve smith Kevin Stevens, Andy Norris, Alan Blewett, who's it going to be? And the tapes break for the first time this afternoon. And, uh, we've got a full start. Right, I think we've got Richard Jenner uh, making uh, up the uh, grid. Grid six in place of uh, Ken Hicks. Andy Norris, jubilant uh, up the back straight. Twenty-one points, three rides, three wins. Steve Smith, seventeen points. Steve needs the points. Alan needs the points. It's all very close at the top of the sidecars. Remember, there's only six go through to the Masters, and uh, we'll know who they are after the semi-finals. <laughs> Comes through in the second one, does he? No, Dave Steer holds him up. So, Steer in second, Smith in third, and Andy Norris goes out. So, the East Midlander goes out on the first lap. That's bad luck for Andy. He doesn't go through to the Masters this year, but there'll always be another year for Andy, the young man. Who's, uh, he's right. He's right. He's They've had three rides, they've had three wins today. It looks as though this is going to be the fourth, the Blewett's lead. Steer second, Smith third, Jenna fourth. Last lap flag is ready, but Alan and John Blewett. On the 
So, race 34, Fuller, Jones, Gott, Gittin, Steen, Werner, Morris and Woodall. That's the lineup. Well, Robbie Fuller looks to uh, be fairly safe with 44 points. Graham Jones with 43 looks to be fairly safe. Dean Gott maybe with 39. But for the rest of them, it's all about semi-final points. Simon Giddens, Dave Steen, Rackler Werner, Phil Morris. They all desperately need points to get through the Masters if they're going to qualify. And away we go. Gott prominent on the outside. But up the middle comes Jones. Jones up the middle and James Dean as they go in the first turn. James Dean prominent as James Jones in here. James Dean come off the bench. It's Graham Jones who leads going down the back straight. Robbie Fuller up there in about second place and Robbie Fuller challenging on the inside but Graham Jones leads off the bend. It's Jones, Fuller in second. In third place, it's Backlow and Werner. So, the order still the same. Jones leading. Fuller second. Werner third. And Werner getting it all locked up on the bottom chair, but he gets away with it. Good scrap for fourth between Dave Steen and Dean Gaunt. Two places, Simon Giddens, uh, or Stuart Woodall rather, comes up into fifth place. But as we look to our left with a lap to go, it's Jones still leading. Rob still there in second place, Robbie Fuller. And four right on Graham Jones, 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 He's going to win this second semi-final, but Robbie Fuller trying all he knows on the bottom turn, but Graham Jones gets there. He wins it, Robbie Fuller second. Third place goes to Buckland Burner. Fourth place goes to Dave Steen. And uh, Taylor again at the back of the field there. Number 38, Phil Morris, with uh, some obvious mechanical problems. So, race 34, the second solo semi-final, in a time of... 1 minute 29.63, 1 minute 29.63 goes to number 6, Graham Jones. In second place, number 23, Robbie Fuller. In third place, number 16, Vakla Werner. In fourth place, number 10, Dave Steen. In fifth place, number 19, Stuart Woodall. In sixth place, number 14, Gott. Seventh, number 24, Simon Giddings. And in eighth place, number 38, Phil Morris. Those numbers again, race 34 from the top. Six, 23, 16, 10, 19, four, 24. Steve Smith on 21, the Wright brothers on 21. And uh, on 20, we've got Phil Pittman. On 15, Rob Wilson. And on 14, Ian McCauley. Race 25. Blew it on a maximum. So the first sidecar semi final. Steve Smith, Alan Blewett, the Wright brothers, Phil Pittman, Rob Wilson, Ian McCauley. change of passenger. Miles Simmons is on the back now, not Gary Lane. That's an update on what's happening as we get underway with the first sidecar final. And uh, I'm not going to forecast he's going to come out the first turn. So, it's Ian McCauley. And McCauley really has been a dark horse today. McCauley leads from Pittman. From Smith and blew it back in about fifth place at the moment. And Smithy seems to be a bit down on power on the back straight, goes backwards into four. So the Wright brothers come through in the fifth. From Wright, from Smith, from Blewett. And 
Jones at the back at the moment is Rob Wilson. So the big two names in this are fourth and fifth at the moment. McCauley leads. Smithy trying to come through on the inside of the right brothers. But it's the right. So the bump of Smithy goes through in the third. Well, that's great stuff. He hasn't had the best of luck over the years. He's won the semi, but is it enough to get him in the Masters? He had 14 points before that one. It's going to be desperately close on the points. It really is. He came here as reserves, and they win the semi-final. They could win the final yet. In second place, number 15, Phil Pittman and Miles Simmons. In third place, number 12, Gary and Steve Wright. In fourth place, number 4, Steve Smith and Keith Wall. In fifth place, number 2, Alan and John Blewett. And in sixth place, number 17, Rob Wilson. So the numbers again, race 35, number 5, number 15, number 12, number 4, number 2, number 17. A win for father and son crew, Ian and Rick McCauley. That was a cracker. That has put the points. It really has turned everything on its head. And uh, we'll just wait for Dawn now to come up with the uh, total points. At the end of the semis, we'll have the qualifiers for the Masters. The finals, relatively unimportant. That's just for the money. The riders here today want to get into that Masters, believe me. So, we move on to race 36. Two finals to go after this race 36. We're going to have a presentation on the finish line uh, after the last final. I know there's some champagne. I think it's gone, or well, some of it's gone from the ACU. I know Tim Wall has brought a, brought a bottle along as well. And we're going to have a presentation on the finish line. So it's an early finish. Sunshine, why not come along for the presentation? Race 36. Number 13 is Pete Dyer, Johnny Beamister, four rides, four wins, same as Alan Blewett before that semi. Number 21, John Halsey and Tony Miles, 21 points. Number 3, John Hiscock and Dave French, 20 points. Number 18, Terry Phillips and Chris Spires, 16 points. Number 7, Dave Steer and the Orchard, 14 points. Number 14, Richard Thomas, John Richards, 14 points. But he's getting pressed by John Hiscock on the outside. On the inside is Terry Phillips and Hiscock goes to the front and Dyer is headed for the first time today. Or is he? It's Hiscock, it's Dyer, Dyer on the inside, Hiscock on the outside, Phillips in third. That's the order to go up the back straight and Dyer on the top line. Anybody's race for third. John Halsey tried desperately to get through on the inside, but Halsey boxed in back in about fifth place at the moment as they go up the back straight with a lap and a half to go. Halsey has got it all to do. He's back in fifth, but it's Dyer leading as they come off the turn. Pink Dyer. Richard Thomas and John Richard. 
goes through at the Masters. Got to say, bad luck on John Hiscock and Dave French to come so close and not get a ride in the Masters. But uh, Smithy goes through. John Hiscock goes to the Masters as first reserve. And uh, nice to see everybody giving both both of them a round of applause because that was a bit of a nail biter. So who's going to win the sidecar final? 50p on Alan Blewett. Away they go, clean break. And Dyer makes a super start, and again it's Dyer who leads it in, but it's Blewett who takes it up as they go into the first day. And Steve Smith at the back of the ball. Benny's in the seal as they go in the bottom turn round the outside come the Wright brothers and Steve Smith at the back of the moment. Up the back straight the Wright brothers trying all they know to get on terms with the leading pair. But it's Alan and John Blue getting a couple of rights. He's running in the back, he's miles in front. Sometimes they'll scrap the second. Through on the inside comes John Alcy and Alcy it is who takes that second place. And and the Wright brothers in trouble on the bottom turn, and Gary and Steve go out of it, so they get to the Masters and get out of the final. Oh, he's got a Mesley 50 p a quick, right, John Elsie in second. In third place, Pete Dyer in fourth place. It is uh, Phil, Phil Pittman and Steve Smith at the back. But Alan and John Blewett winning. In second place, John Halsey and Tony Miles. Third place goes to number 13, Pete Dyer and Tony Beamister. First time they've been today. Phil Pittman and Miles Simmons finish in fourth place. And in fifth place, number four, Steve Smith and Keith Wall. And sixth place, Gary Wright, just making sure that uh, he's uh, classed as a finisher. Whatever happened, I don't know, but uh, some sort of mechanical problem put him out. And he gets uh, sixth. Right, fastest race of the day, although he's out his own, fastest race of the day for the Blitz, 1 minute 25.01. 1 minute 25.01 for Alan and John Lewis, number 2. Second place 21, John Halsey and Tony Miles. Third place number number 13, Pete Arn and Tony Davis. Third fourth place number 15, Bill Pettman and Tony Miles. Simmons. Fifth place number 4, Steve Smith and Keith Wall. Sixth number 12, Right. Right, the invitation, a lot of people still around. If you'd like to come down to the finish line, we're going to have uh, maybe uh, Kelvin Tatum. So we'll kick off with the solos first. Right, get me facts right. Seventh today was Dean Garton. Seventh. One day when we get really good, we'll have steps up onto this uh, truck. Sixth today in the final was Neville Tatum. These are places in the final I should have, not overall. Fifth place, Ben Howe. jumped down but uh, he has anyway sorry it's easier apparently fourth place today was Robbie Fuller yeah it was uh well it went really well for me I was able to get out in front and stay out of the dirt um the track obviously with the, with the weather this week it was was hard work and I think the accidents that came were were purely because of um, some rain during the week but I hope everybody's healthy that uh, hit the deck but I've really enjoyed my day I've done a couple of grass tracks one last week and one this week and um, I've, I've, um, I'm thoroughly enjoying it again, so uh, I'm looking forward to, to the Masters now. Smashing, what about tonight? You're going to enjoy tonight? 
Yeah, it'll be a tough match. It always is. There's always a bit of needle between Bradford and Wolverhampton, so I'm sure that it will be a hotly contested meeting. And um, uh, hope if I can make the starts like I did today, <laughs> if I can make the starts like I did today, I'm, uh, I'm sure that Bradford will push them close. Right. Okay. Have a good night. I won't be there, but I know a lot of people here going down Wonder Green. So, well done, Kelly Tatum, Graham Jones, Paul Bentley. Right, we get onto the chairs now, and uh, we start with the sixth. Um, bit of a problem in the final, but uh, two lads I've been championing for the last 12 months. I really think they're going to go at the top. From the East Midlands, Gary and Steve Wright. You never know who's driving. Hey, Gary, just confirm you've been driving today. I'm driving today, definitely me, yeah. Hang on, are you going to Leighton Laser? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Who's driving there? Um, I'm not sure about that. You're going to Minsterly? <laughs> Steve's driving next week, who's driving at Minsterly? Not sure, right. That was, that was brilliant, that was, yeah, that was a good interview, thank you. <laughs> Hey, two great lads. Honestly, two years' time, they're going to win the Masters. Yeah. Right, second, uh, fifth today was um, Steve Smith and Keith Wall, but I know uh, they've rushed off and Keith has already had his money. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, fourth today, Phil Pittman and, well, he had two passengers, Gary Lane to start, and then Miles Simmons. Oh. We're going to have all three. Yeah. in the final. I thought they were going to win everything today. Four heat wins. Semi-final win. Third in the final. Into the Masters. Pete Dyer, Tony Bevister. Do you want to jump up and then everybody can have the pictures? It's a long way up here. Second today, I keep getting his number wrong because he usually writes 13, but the uh, bloke I first met in the Isle of Man about 15 years ago, still going well, John Halsey and Tony Miles. Before. Down here somewhere. I know, he, I know where he comes from. Come on, Alan. Alan and John, come on. <laughs> now, this bloke, he's either a month younger than me or a month older. I'm never sure which. If I'm rude, I'll tell you he's 50. If I'm honest, I'll tell you he's 50 this year. Is that right? How old are you now? 49, I thought you were, yeah. You're younger than me. Eight, nine years ago, 1984, this fella qualified for the Masters through the qualifier, right? And he won the Masters. You're going to do it again this year? Well, I told John uh, we slipped up. We got a third year uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, we had a bad year last year. Um, the way that the boys arrived today, I thought we were going to go out again. Um, anyway, we got through, and uh, yeah, we're going to go and try and win it. We've got a super bike, uh, it's Steve's this year, and uh, the engine's good, and John's as keen as ever, and I don't think he let me slip up. Say no more. John and Alan Blewett, with us today. <laughs> yeah, hang on. John wants a word. I don't think we've ever had this honour before. I'll never give you the mic, because he does all the talking. Right, John. I just want to thank Keith Wall for the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Are you 
get old enough to drink it? Oh, yeah, just. <laughs> right, well done, lads. We had some super sidecar racing today. As I said before, I've enjoyed today. Just a pity of the bumps. We've had a couple of bumps, and uh, unfortunately that happens in grass track racing, but uh, I'm sure you agree with me, it's been a good day. So we'll see you all the week on Sunday. The late and laser. Keep plugging it. Mike Kilver tells me to keep plugging it, so I've got to. Week on Sunday it is. Thank you, and good night. Can I just say well done to Paul Bentley? He lives near us. He's had a serious back injury, and uh, it's nice to see him come back and qualify. I hope he does very well. Right, we were talking earlier. I'm sure you all agree with me, this fella. The time he's been in England, he's, he really has. He's really put the cat amongst the pigeons. And, uh, God, we can't let you go back to Australia without having a final few words to uh, the grass track fans in England. Gary, just basically comment on you, what, two years over here? Well, the grass has been really good. I've actually enjoyed it more than the speedway. It's been a real challenge, and these blokes over here go like crazy. And I, I hope maybe in about four or five years I might be able to come back and give it another go, and we'll be a bit wiser then. So, I'm sure you're all going to put your hands together for a great guy, Gary Moon. Well done.